Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel, Weather Impacts All of Us. Google DeepMind has just released a model which you can use freely without any cost to predict 15 days of weather forecast. How good is that? Now we can do the weather prediction on our own without waiting for med department just by using these Apache 2 license models. Google DeepMind has not only released the model weights, but also they have released a full notebook which you can readily use. Either you can embed it in your own code or you can use it on your own to do the weather prediction. In this video, I am going to show you a hands-on demo of that notebook as how you can run it on your own on free Google Colab. I will also be giving you the notebook link, so feel free to use it. Let me first give you a bit more information around this model. So the model is called as GenCast. GenCast is an AI ensemble model that advances the prediction of weather uncertainties and risks. It has been developed to provide faster and more accurate forecasts. GenCast can predict weather patterns up to 15 days ahead. GenCast provides forecast at a high resolution of 0.25 degree. GenCast generates an ensemble of 50 or more predictions, each representing a possible weather trajectory. It is a model that learns to accurately generate complex probability distribution of future weather scenarios. GenCast is designed to handle the spherical geometry of the Earth, plus GenCast was trained on four decades of historical weather data from ERA-5 archive. GenCast has shown better forecasting skill than the top operational ensemble forecasting system such as ENS. GenCast provides decision maker with a fuller picture of the possible weather conditions and their likelihood. The GenCast uh, model code, weights, forecast, they all have been released and wider weather forecasting community can readily use it as of now. So let me take you to my free Google Colab and we will start cracking on it. First up, go to runtime and then just change the runtime, select the free Google GPU, which is T4 GPU. And for this one, I believe you can simply use it quite easily. I will be using Google provided code. So I will drop the link to it. And most of this code is, uh, I would say, very, very focused to weather forecasting. And you can simply copy paste it for your own purposes with a very little customization. So first up, let's upgrade the packages and then we would have to restart the kernel while we do that. But let's wait for this to get installed. And that is done. Next up, let's install the repo of this graph cast or gen cast. Let's wait for it. And that is all done. Let's import the libraries which we have just installed. And there are a lot of them, as you can see. Let me run it. And if you get any error at this point, just simply install the stuff which gives you the error. But mostly, as you can see, that so far looks so good. And that is all done. Now, in the next step, we need to define some of the plotting functions. And mostly, these are the matplotlib, very standard plotting functions if I just quickly take you up so you see we have some select function we have some scaling functions plotting the data and then it is using some of the coordinates or timing and that sort of stuff and in this one we have just defined these functions which we will be using soon now for this one it uses Google Cloud Bucket for that you can just um, get authenticated it to it anonymously as you can see here or if you want to keep it private you can use google cloud authentication but as you can see that we don't have to because it's an anonymous authentication here okay next up let's load the model parameter we can load it in two ways random or checkpoint but let's you it's your choice i'm just going to go with the standard one as you can see with the random as you all we are doing here is that we are choosing the model and then we are defining this function for the latent option with the latent is what model understands and then we have just given it the uh, 
function with vbox which is going to take the tab and then from that drop down it is going to reload the model so this is just a function definition let let's actually load the model there you go you see how good is that and we just need to run the this code in order to select it there you go so here if you like you can go with this one we have just gone with the random checkpoint this and this. so i've just gone with this random okay now we can load the example data and of course if you have your own data you can customize it but i would suggest that for the testing purposes you just go with this uh, weather data which is in the google cloud bucket which we just authenticated to and then you see that it has been downloaded uh, this has been selected and then you can load it from that google cloud bucket by running this cell sorry not this like this it is just loading the data from that google cloud bucket or gcs google cloud store let's wait for it this takes a bit of a time not much and that is also done you can also check out this data there are some variables as you can see and these are all the different categories these are indexes and these are few of the attributes okay so next up you can choose the data which we want to plot and of course this depends upon your use case you can uh, select different uh, uh, forcings you can select different configs and then from there you can plot the data and for plotting all you need to do is to just run this code which is primarily it's a very standard plotting code which is using that plot data function and there you go this is our weather forecast how good that looks amazing stuff so you see within few minutes by using this free model we were able to generate our weather forecasting and this is simply was not possible before and because this is an ensemble model so it for its forecast expresses uncertainty by making multiple predictions that represent different possible scenarios. For example, if most predictions show a cyclone hitting the same area, uncertainty is low, but if they predict different locations, uncertainty is higher. Gencast strikes the right balance, avoiding both overstating or understanding, understating its confidence in its forecast. This and it takes a single Google Cloud TPU just eight minutes to produce one 15 day forecast in GenCast Ensemble. So this is really, I think a big deal. And if you're looking to generate a forecast on your, based on your own data for your own location, all you need to do is to just change the coordinates here and you should be able to uh, good to go because I have just used a sample data. You can use your own data also. It's very easy to fine tune or train this model and i will drop the link to its repo so that you can also check it out so all in all i would say really good stuff by google deepmind yet again i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching